King Charles chose Princess Anne and Prince Edward over Prince Harry. Please keep following, subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing. A royal expert said last night that King Charles' decision to allow the Duchess and the Earl of Wessex to act as proxies while he was unable to carry out official duties was a rejection of Prince Harry and would make him upset. Royal biographer Angela Levine described the Duke of Sussex and the monarch's disgraced brother Andrew as indispensable, meaning the couple would be less likely to be drafted if the king was not present. Chancellor of the Exchequer Lord Parker of Minsmere, the most senior member of the royal family, read a signed message to the House of Lords on Monday announcing the Queen's intentions. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told the Daily Mail that the important and long-awaited reform was symbolic as it was announced on King Charles' birthday. He added that he was celebrating in private, but it was a very important matter of public interest. Charles said the purpose of the additional posts was to ensure the continued efficiency of public enterprises in my absence. Prime ministers who can act for the monarch include the Duke of Sussex and the disgraced Duke of York when the monarch is abroad on business or ill. But the addition of the king's two younger siblings to the list means, it is clear that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew will never become foreign secretaries if the monarch, the Queen or the Prince of Wales are gone, said royal legal expert Dr. Craig Prescott, for the Daily Mail. Royal biographer Angela Levine added, Obviously it's a bit of a hassle for Harry and Andrew, but there's a good reason for it and it's necessary. She said the move was a sensible way to get Harry and Andrew off the list in a very diplomatic way, while it was more practical for Charles to seek help from Princess Anne and Prince Edward. Ms Lewin said, Harry and Meghan will be very angry about this decision. But he lives in California, he's not the king anymore, so why would he become Secretary of State? It's not about Harry, Ms Levine said, it's about what the king needs. She also said there would be absolute public outrage if the Duke of York were to carry out royal duties and praised the Queen's move as very sensible.